To download your printer driver, open your internet browser. In our example, we're using Google Chrome. And in the navigation bar, you want to type in epson.co.uk forward slash support. Press enter and you'll be presented with this website. Scroll down and in the search by product name box, type in your printer model. In our example, we're using the ET8550. Wait for the drop down menu to appear here and click on your model number. You'll be presented with this support page. The operating system that you're using will have automatically been detected. If for any reason this is incorrect, click the drop down menu here and select the correct operating system. You can then click go to refresh the website. Scroll down and we want to go to drivers. In here you'll find all the drivers for your printer model, but we only want the dedicated driver. If for any reason there is a universal driver option, do not download it. Click the driver and then select download. Once download is complete, you should have a notification like this one to tell you. You can now close your internet browser. Now open your file explorer. The default directory for all internet downloads is the downloads folder. If you have saved your driver to another directory, please go to that directory now. Double click the driver and this will start the installation process. Allow access by clicking yes and the driver will unzip. You may want to set this as your default printer. Click OK. Select the language of choice and click OK. And then agree to Epson's terms and conditions. Once done, select OK. Your driver will now install. This can take a few minutes. We always recommend connecting your printer via USB. If you'd like to do a wireless connection, still install using the included USB first and then set up a wireless installation after. After selecting USB connection, click OK. This will now look for your printer. Ensure the printer is turned on and connected to your computer. Once you see the Printer Utility Setup's complete successfully notification, click OK. Your printer is now installed. You can delete the driver from your downloads if you wish, or you can keep this should you want a backup at a later date.